2006. Uh, I also have a duty to tell you how we spend the money that we got last year. <laughs> so what we did with your money last year is we put in a new path uh, round the caravan park at the cost of five and a half thousand pounds. We gave a thousand pounds to the Rosebank uh, playing fields for uh, the renovations of the tennis course and we gave some money down to a group that calls themselves the Boat Club of the Heritage Centre for the renovations of the Herring Fishing Mart. We still have a little left that we will add to this year so if you've got any ideas of how, what you'd like done with your money, do let us know. Uh, that's really all I want to say, except please enjoy yourself, come out to the things and have fun. And tonight especially, please look after all the kids. Let's not have any accidents. Try and keep the kids away from the front of the lorries. Drivers can't see them. And we really don't want anything to go wrong. We want us all to have a good night. Okay? So without further ado, I will ask our Gala Queen for 2005, Ashley, to step forward. Good evening. I'd just like to say that I had an extremely enjoyable year as Gala Queen of 2005, and I'd just like to wish Chloe a great year as Gala Queen of 2006. I'm sure she'll enjoy it as much as I have. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to welcome you all here tonight. I would, and, and I would like to extend a warm and special welcome to any visitors home on holiday and to any exiles to our Royal Borough. Blackturn Improvement Association give a helping hand to various schemes in the town and I would ask you to support them during this our gala week and I trust you will get into the gala spirit and enter into a week of fun with us. I'd like to thank Ashley for performing my training. Thank you all. It's now my great pleasure to introduce somebody who doesn't need an introduction. A very well known and very welcome wicker, our Lord of Tennis, Anne Dunnett. <laughs> well, thank you very much for inviting me to come and speak tonight. I should start by saying good evening, fellow Uyghurs. Your Majesty. <laughs> I often have to do that. <laughs> um, and the committee, thank you again for inviting me. It's great to be a citizen of WIC. Perhaps some of you who take an interest in my hat are wondering why I'm not wearing a hat tonight. Well, I've got to be honest and tell you that my hat, strangely enough, shrank overnight. I think it's all the pride that's in me for being a wicker, born and bred. So that's why the hat's not on tonight. I was looking in the dictionary and it says that a citizen is an inhabitant of a town or nation by birth or by adoption. I'm really proud to be a citizen of this town. And citizenship doesn't come with only rights and privileges. It comes too with responsibilities and obligations. And we don't hear so much about these, do we? Uh, how often have you heard people say, even youngsters, I know my rights. 
but do they know their obligations too? If it weren't for the, the Wick Town Improvements Committee, there will be no gala every year. And you know, it's a lot of hard work for people who are already very busy. And I'd like to just see how very much their efforts are appreciated by us weakers. And I hope that they'll go on doing it for many years to come. Um, I would like just to finish by saying or pinching a phrase of John F. Kennedy. Fellow citizens of Wick, it's not so much what can Wick do for me, but what can I do for Wick? So now's your chance. Get your hands in your pockets and your purses and turn out not just pennies, but pounds too, please. Thank you. And now comes the bit, I'm sure all the mums, dads, grannies of all our gala queens this year's and last year's. This is your chance to get your photo. So we'll get out the road and you come and get your photo. Tell your dad if you didn't smile.
Bad stuff. What is that? That's from TV. <laughs> no, I don't think so. No, it's from the. How you doing? Oh, I had this up.
מתנצלים.